Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to go over how to actually set up AR Core on our new Unity project. So, here I just have a brand new Unity project open. Um, I've got the sample scene here. So this is where we get the SDK from. Um, this is on Google's GitHub repo. Uh, there will be a link down in the lesson summary on how to get this. But all we need to do is click on the clone or download button. We'll download this here as a zip. And when this downloads, all we need to get from this is not all the uh, folders that we see here. Instead, let's go into Assets. And we just need to drag in the Google AR Core and Play Services Resolver uh, folders into our project. So here we got the zip file. Um, and all we need to do here is just open up this folder here, open up Assets, extract those out to any, any place on your computer really. We can then exit out of this. And then what we want to do is drag them into our Unity project right here. Okay, you may see that there are a few errors here, um, saying that some of the scripts don't have uh, certain things. Now, what we need to do also is add in some of the Unity packages that we need in order to run this. So I'm going to go up to Window, Package Manager, and in here what we want to do is scroll down to the bottom. We want to install XR Legacy Input Helpers. So we'll click install on this one. And this just uh, allows us to basically detect the position and rotation of a certain device. And we also want to install multiplayer HLAPI. So we'll click install on this one here as well. And this is just a lot of, uh, the, this is just the package we need in order for the uh, AR Core Cloud anchors to work. So we'll install this one right here. And once that is complete, we should then be able to exit out of here and the errors should be gone. So there we go, it's all working now. Um, but we can't build this to our device right now and run it because there is nothing really that is set up to actually work for AR. We actually have to create a few game objects that will allow us to uh, actually connect to the AR SDK and start detecting planes, start creating feature points and all that stuff. So here inside of the hierarchy, let's right click and create a new empty object. And this object here is going to be called AR Core Device. Uh, as a char as, or in this object, we need to add two components. The first one is going to be our AR Core session, and this just basically runs the entire sort of AR system uh, in Unity here. Now it's asking us for first of all a device camera direction. Um, we can choose the back facing or front facing camera. Uh, let's just stick it to back facing for now. We can also give it then a session config and a camera config filter. Now these we need these in order to basically set up some of the configurations for the session and for the camera. Now if we go to Google AR Core here and then go configurations, you'll see that we have two configurations here already set up for us. We've got the default camera config filter and the default session config. Let's select our AR Core device and drag these into their respective config uh, slots. There we go, we got that set up, and that is the AR Core device set up and ready to go. Next, we need to drag the main camera in as a child of AR Core device. And first of all, what we want to do on the camera is set the clear flags to uh, solid color and add in two components. The first one is going to be a tracked pose driver right here. Um, we just want to keep this on generic XR device. Uh, center eye, we want to change this to color camera. And then we want to pretty much keep everything here the same, except update type. We want to change this uh, to update. And yeah, let's also then disable use relative position. And now we can add another component called the AR Core Background Renderer. And this is going to basically um, make it so that the background of uh, this camera, what we can see with the camera is going to be what our camera sees. So this background material here, we are just going to set this here to be the AR background. There we go. And that is AR Core pretty much set up. That's all the basic stuff we need in order to run this AR app and have the systems uh, working in place. Now from here, we can add various different things such as uh, the ability to visualize planes, the ability to interact with planes, and the ability to do many other things inside of AR Core, which we will be going over in, in the future lessons. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.